Wimbledon 1963. At the age of 19, Margaret Court, or Smith as she was, beats all comers and goes on to take off the coveted trophy a total of three times. Before retiring, in fact, Margaret Court won more major tournaments than any other Australian tennis star. Today, she's a born-again Christian. Married to the son of former West Australian Premier Sir Charles Court, she lives in Perth, overlooking the Swan River. She ventures rarely onto the tennis courts these days, content, as she puts it, to do her bit for the Lord. I mean, I've learned a lot since coming into the Word of God and understanding the walk of Christ and how we can walk victoriously here on earth also. She became a Christian in the mid-70s at a time when she was the world's number one women tennis player. She says she shocked a few people as she was one of the few born-agains on the international circuit. Yes, I was in France one year in church. I used to always travel and go to church on Sundays and uh, I uh, knew my talent of tennis was from God, but I used to say, well, Lord, where are you? I always thought he was out there somewhere, and I must be able to have a closer relationship with you. And uh, that year I went on to America, and my husband and I, we used to stay with lots of families there. And this lady used to always give me these books, and I used to think she was a religious nut and put them in the rubbish bin. But she kept one and read it, and soon after became a Christian, and says her life hasn't been the same since. I only wished I'd known what I know now, I would have won six Wimbledons and not three, because I really at that stage didn't know how to put Christianity and sport together, and I couldn't quite understand it. But I know now that Jesus was the winner and he wants us to be winners in life and that he gives us talents. So with her Christian eyes, how does she view modern tennis and tennis players? I think probably with all the television and press and coverage and tremendous money in it today, I think it's brought a lot more pressure why do you think Lendl has never won Wimbledon? And I believe Lendl brought a lot of that on himself by saying, well, I can't play on grass and I don't enjoy playing at Wimbledon. And then the press get hold of all that and they build it up into something. And I think really he talk, talked himself into it. And what about Pat Cash? Is, is he going to go on to be one of Australia's greats? Well, he's an exciting player. Uh, I guess he'll mature in himself and uh, because when you do win Wimbledon, that's what you do after Wimbledon. And what about the bad boy of tennis, John McEnroe? Well, he's always been an exciting player. I mean, a very, very talented player. Uh, I mean, he's won a lot of tournaments and uh, I think he's been his own worst enemy. But what about from a Christian point of view? Well, somebody prayed for me and I became a Christian and uh, I believe many people are praying for him. And it seems people are not just praying for John McEnroe. Margaret is part of a new evangelical movement in the sports world. Known as the Sports Ministry, right across Australia, Christian sportsmen and women have got together to form a counselling service with the aim of capturing as many athletes, tennis players, cricketers, surfers, cyclists, footballers, you name it, to form a first team for the Lord. I know over half of the last American Olympic team were born again Christians. So they get together and they pass on what God is doing in their lives because I believe in the time to come we're going to see some of the greatest athletes at all time that are Christians and knowing who they are in Christ and that the resurrection power is in them.